Betty Crocker's chocolate fudge gluten-free brownie mix for when you're feeling naughty, but wheat doesn't do it for you. <laughs> Colin's time to bake. This week I was challenged by the celiac sloth Georgina and she has told me that I need to make something special with this instant gluten-free brownie mix. Hmm, what am I gonna do? There are links below to Georgina's celiac sloth gluten-free and celiac lifestyle. The recipe for this is really straightforward. It's all on the back. So let's begin. So all you need to do is open your packet mix, sieve and add in your brownie mix. Take 60 grams of butter, two medium free range eggs, mix this all together. And pop it into a lined nine inch square cake tin. Seems strong and stable, what could go wrong? So pop it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until a knife comes out keen. Once the brownie is out of the oven, leave it to cool completely. What you wanna do is get a packet of after eights, which I have not eaten all. Get a packet of After Eights, or if you want any kind of mint chocolate thin, other brands are available. Unless After Eights wants to give me lots of After Eights, in which case I'm okay. I've said After Eights enough, yeah. After Eights. Take 100 grams of icing sugar in a bowl, add two teaspoons of peppermint extract, and then keep adding one teaspoon at a time of water. You wanna get it so it's slightly runny. Now you wanna take about two thirds of the after eights, put this in a bowl and stick in the microwave for about 10 to 20 seconds until it melts completely. It's not going to be like runny like chocolate just because it has the, the mint thin in the middle. You just want it to be gloopy enough to pour on the top. Once your brownie is nice and cooled, you wanna take the brownie, spread out your mint icing, and then on the top you want to add your melted after eights. Now take the remaining after eights, break them into pieces and sprinkle them on top. Share with the many not the few, and you're good to go. And there you have it. Mmm, they look really good. Time for the taste test then, yeah? Mmm, it's so gooey, it's so minty. Mm. Some good leadership from Betty Crocker there. Thank you, Betty. And also, thank you to Georgina the Celiac Sloth who challenged me this week. If any of you guys have a recipe you want me to try, please let me know in the comments below. My name is Colin, this is Colin's Time to Bake. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Me 